Good morning. It is like 20 after 8. We've already had a bit of coffee. We've all been up. And uh, it's another <clears throat> misty morning on Tatler Lake. There's a seagull off the front here. Um, take advantage of some of the fish carcasses that are there in the water. So we're just uh, getting the wood stove going. It takes a while. We're going to cook up some eggs, some bacon, um, have a quick breakfast. We're all kind of packing as we go, so it shouldn't take too long to actually uh, get out of here. I'm hoping, right now there's zero wind. Nice, uh, blue, calm day. I'm hoping the wind kicks up a bit, because it should be behind us the whole way. And we'll make uh, better time on the way home than we did here. Portages are pretty easy, so it should be uh, should be a decent day. We'll, I think we'll be out by you know, maybe 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock at the latest, and then we'll be home by, uh, you know, 6 sort of thing. Pretty nice morning. Okay, so it's quarter to 10, and we are uh, all cleaned up, and leave it the way we found it, maybe even a little nicer, and we're uh, just about to head out. So we're kind of burning the garbage in the fire, we'll knock that down with some water before we go. Just uh, throw the last knickknacks in uh, our bags and off we go on a dead calm Tatler Lake. Okay, so it's 10 after 10. We're all packed up and we're about to load into the boats and leave the cabin. Uh, a little sad to leave. I will be back, I'm sure. Trev, give us a smile, right? <laughs> so we're about to head out, still dead calm on the lake. I don't know what it's like on Booth Lake, but I'm assuming it's very similar. And then it's a straight shot, south southeast, and we're out of here. Fit right in there. I got it. I got it. Actually, fuck it. I'm gonna go right in here. How's that? I can get it right here. Okay, so it's quarter after 12. I just did the uh, single carry of the uh, 7 or 695 whatever it is not too bad a little wet in parts I had the food bag and the big uh, portage bag but uh, that's the last big one of the trip we got a 90 left might even be able to run it we passed the gentleman on the way in he's uh, doing a solo I think for a week he had lots of gear and he was just coming in today so he's pretty excited it's always good to see people uh, Enjoying the park. <sighs> Almost done. We got a puddle, uh, kitty, farm, and then uh, I think it's shawl. No, nope. right at the end of farm. Anyway, bye for now.
115. And we just completed uh, the 90 from Kitty Lake into Farm. We actually uh, ran the rapid, so it wasn't very hard. So we're just now stopped at the uh, Kitty Lake End of Steel Cabin. So this is the uh, Kitty Lake Cabin. It's actually not on Kitty Lake. It's uh, just past Kitty. I guess it would be farm, would be the lake it's on. Pretty nice spot. Space for boats, nice sandy put in. Nice open, open spot with a fireplace. And it's uh, substantially bigger than the uh, Tatler Lake. Okay, so it's 2 o'clock. Made it back to the uh, Shaw Lake put-in. Steve and I just landed. And the other gents are right behind. Pretty successful trip. We ate well. Had a lot of fun. Can't wait to be back in the park.